mga kaguro, welcome po muli sa ating afternoon session. Naway nabusog po kayo sa inyong tanghalian at nabusog po namin ang inyong mga isipan ng mga kaalaman hingil sa Learning Management System o LMS kanina. Bilang pagpapatuloy ng ating afternoon session, makikita po ngayon sa inyong mga screens ang ating attendance link. Huwag po ninyo kalimutang magpatala ng inyong presensya para sa araw na ito. Alam po namin na kapag tayo ay busog at masyado mainit ang panahon, tila ba napakasarap na matulog. Kaya naman, para magising ang ating mga katawan, tayo po muna ay magkakaroon ng pamukaw sigla o energizer. Ito po ay inihanda sa atin ng mga piling guro mula sa ESP Department. Naway sabayan po ninyo. They are building blocks of good governance. Kaya naman, nailunsan ang programang WATCH o We Advocate Time Consciousness and Honesty. Kaya naman, sa oras na ito, tunghayan po natin ang maikling video clip na inihanda sa atin ng WATCH team.
disiplina sa sarili ko ino pang maging mabuti bang si sino maling wakabusuin respeto ay dapat na pairali nagiging matapat at lagi na Good afternoon, teachers. Welcome to the second session on our, walk on our walkthrough on the adapted LMS. Hopefully, in the morning session, you were able to create your course because this afternoon, our objective is for you to familiarize 
to different activities or resources which you can add or select to be used in your activities here. So let's begin. We are now on the course that you made or I made and while we are doing this, you can also work on your laptops, open your course and then see you have the announcements. Actually putting announcements here, that is how it's gonna look. So you can also set how many announcements you would like to have. Now what I, I placed here, this is what we call a label. So again, uh, I mentioned this morning, labels are used to, of course, to, to indicate or to organize content here in the course. So let's click turn editing on because if you notice and uh, it's aligned, it's, or it's indented here. So let's click edit and then click move to the right still so that it would look as really under announcements actually this is optional uh, announcements are supposed to be placed here in the announcements kaya lang uh, i put myself in ano ba? parang thinking na if if students missed clicking here they will be able to see the announcement right away because it's placed as a label so if if not well you can just put the announcements here all you have to do is just add a new topic the first session that's indicated here is the same content in the label here and so see google meet so if students will click this link they will be directed to the google meeting okay. so again these are your headers or you can heading in for that particular lesson or week suggestion uh, is that we label this or change the topics into weeks and indicate the inclusive dates of the particular week. One advantage of doing this is that students who missed a session on that particular day will be able to, to trace or to find kung asa na siya na lesson mag to or mag anza na week mag to dito in the LMS. So, you have your weeks one up to eight and the activity that I have prepared here and we will uh, try to redo. Uh, the, the activities are, on, are found on week seven. So I've added one label here. Uh, you have their uh, labels here Monday and Tuesday and the lesson that I used is for Tuesday. That's on weeks yeah that on this particular week i was supposed to be this is for week this competency is supposed to be for week six not week seven okay so pag ganyan po na nagkamali kayo of placing the the content all you have to do is you can actually just drag this there yeah so later so this milk is actually for week six so I added here a label just to indicate to the students the competency that is uh, for that particular meeting. So the milk is differentiate exocytosis and endocytosis. So we have here, I told you this morning to familiarize these different icons so that when we add uh, an activity or resource, which you will do here, and adding an activity or resource, uh, you will be also familiar what these are. I indented this uh, animation, this module, and this memory game because these are not uh, included in the lesson flow. I just added this for you to see the, the, the other options which you can do. So I, I changed the label or the, the title of that activity or resource into the seven E's format. So I already have six E's here. So elicit, engage, explore, explain, elaborate, extend. The last E is uh, evaluation. So each, uh, yeah, each activity here, or each part in the instructional design uh, is actually varied in order to, uh, to as I, I told you that uh, 
sometimes you know students don't like monotonous or parang uh, pabalik-balik ng repetitive format or uniform format of activities. Then also uh, there are so many lessons or so many subjects for for the students. At least they'll find variety in what they're doing. Okay. So we'll have the first E. Ah, Clarification also, I, I use the seven E's because as recommended by or as suggested by our regional apps and science that we use seven E's for the instructional design. Others or your school heads may require you to use four A's format. That is totally fine as long as the competencies are hit or achieved. So let's begin with the first activity or resource that we have here. And the icon is color red, and you have this in Mechura. So let's try to do what that is. Okay. So remember this, please. You can screenshot or picture and po ninyo, and then uh, we'll do the activities. In the morning, you were already able to see how they, how they, uh, how they are when students browse or use the LMS. So, gawin po natin siya ulit. So, dito nga po tayo. Okay. Let's click add an activity or resource. The first one, color red, and this is the symbol. So, that means the activity, yeah, the activity that I used is a quiz format. So, let's use a quiz or let's add a new quiz. And then you will have, you will always know which activity or resource you added because this line here will inform you what that is. So I click quiz. So we're adding a new quiz to week eight. Sample lang po ito ha. Supposedly that's for the week uh, six na competency. And so you have the name of the activity. So then it's elicit part and uh, Let's start again. Picture analysis. Hmm. Or if you're using 4A's format, you'll use the first A here. Okay. Description is uh, optional. Since this is a quiz, hmm. let's also go into the timing. Now, the picture analysis is designed uh, for a, like a pre-test to test the uh, previous knowledge or to activate the prior knowledge of the students. Let's click timing. You will see these options. So I will not set any time limit. And para yes, ano, anong lingaw -lingaw. Also for the students, pwede nila mag, mag -isip sila. If you're, it will all the time limit will also tell if you click enable. And so if you want the student to finish the, the quiz in just few seconds, minutes, hours, days, or weeks, it's up to you. It will also reflect what type of teacher you are. No, kanang diri katong tumahadlok ang sujante, na magkarakara sila, kung dili mo gusto makasundog sila, seconds lang, di ba? Minutes, hours, days, or weeks, lambot anakay ng mga teachers. Okay. So since this is a pre-test activity, I'll enable that one. And then layout, you see and in, in the morning session, I, each item or each question appeared in a separate page, each question. So you can also have it, yeah, two questions in every page, three questions, or gusto ka 20 questions on one page. Muro na pod ka o nagbutang dira o isa ka page sa, sa exam. No, kind of nine, ten, or twenty items on one page. Okay. Then for review options, here, kita niyo in in morning session when I showed to you the uh, the picture analysis, the answers were revealed to the student. You can remove that feature, especially since again since this is a pretest, I I just did not remove the checks. But if you're doing it in a post-test, you have to uncheck that one so that immediately after the attempt, it will just mark or check the 
the, the answers of the students and give an overall feedback. And later, while the quiz is still open, you uncheck that, it will just mark and give an overall feedback. In such a way, uh, they, they will not be able to screenshot and then share an answer to, to their classmates. So since this is a pretest, test they will also know, ah, okay, dito de ko tama or kormali. It's on review options. Now we have appearance. Okay, so as you have, uh, as I said, it, it, for it to look like in a pizza format, let's click show the user's picture. Large image para klaro kayo nasa right side. Okay. And then activity completion we have here. And then all the rest of the, 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 the settings here you can uh, also modify or suit, uh, to suit based on how you wanted it. I opted to have students can manually mark the activity as completed. Pwede po, if you want, do not indicate activity completion. We show activity as complete when conditions are met. Okay. I opted to have students can manually mark the activity as completed. So, kung naka student mode siya, student will just mark check on the right side of the activity na tapos na siya on that part. The reason why also I, I'm, I'm choosing this is that ano, for, for students not to be uh, kept on that item or in that part of the lesson na maglisod siya, hindi li siya maka-move on to the next lesson just because he or she was not able to, to finish that activity. Nung lisod nang dili ta maka-move on, so kana lang sa nga settings sa itong gamiton. Naluoy po ng sadyante. So, again, this is a quiz that we're adding. Name, and then all those settings you want. Ano ba yung review na to? No? Your elicit, picture analysis, okay. no time limit, review options, mag-reveal lang siya for the answers, and the feedback, appear ilahang face as they take the quiz. Save, and then say you have to uh, click save and display. And then you will be directed to this page. So, of course, wala pa no, kanag start pa ta. No questions have been added yet. Let's now click edit quiz. Uh, you will also see, by the way, on this side or in this line, elicit picture analysis, you will see the gear button where you can also edit the settings of the quiz or edit the quiz itself and other items here. Okay, so, maghim matag quiz. Let's click edit quiz. And okay. So, in the quiz that I made, there were five items. So, let's uh, do, siguro sample lang no, varied to siya. I, I was able to have an uh, select or yung pala naka drop down format, no? yes or no, i drop down ng student, ng student, and then true or false, and uh, yung, yung naka drag and drop na markers. So, sige, let's try doing three items. Maximum grade, you have to indicate how many items. If you give one point per item, so three items ang muna for this sample. And then, once you click save, you see, wala pa pong question. So all you have to do is click add. And then you have your options, add a new question from question bank or a random question. So wala pa man pong question bank. I'll use add a new question. Yeah. So you will see the different options that you can actually use. So asa man dira imong gusto. Let's try katong nakita ninyo na uh, katong nay drop down or nay yeah, nay drop down format, no. Uh, that is select missing words. Okay. So if you click that you will be given the description of the particular quiz type or question type. Okay. So missing words in the question text are filled in using drop-down menus or random, ganyan. You will see the description. So if you're making the question for the, the quiz, pili lang mo dira which you would like to have. There are also features here for calculations. I, I tried to, to ask for some math concepts, pero ba, sige, mapanindigan ba? 
nang hiram ko nang ay ko questions from my fellow teachers handling calculus and all just to 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 really show to you that it's actually friendly also to to math but i'm worried to uh, if i cannot actually verify kung tama po to kung na-input so pasaylo ah there is a tam kasi mo ingon bo ba nga ay pura man sa science no this is actually friendly for any for any subjects so the first type of question quiz question is select missing words okay so let's click add then category lang pala na default question name one lang one two three four five question text so in the question one and eight, this is where you type the question that you would like would like to to ask to the student so in in this lesson i would like to show to them picture uh, Browse repositories, then upload a file. By the way, for file picker, you will see this you know, embedded files, content bank, content bank later. That's where your LMS dash test. This is where the uh, the interactives are, are saved. Okay, so let's upload a file because the picture that I would like to to use in the question is in my Laptop. Uh, where is it? Look for the picture. So that would also be a big help if you have, and so let's use parameters. If you already have the information or, or the, the content ready, or you know already what to, to use before placing them in the, the LMS picture. And so that's the image and click save. I, yeah, I'm sorry. So if you forget something that they're requiring you, it will say, it will uh, bring you back here, you cannot uh, proceed and you will be informed of what you missed. So the images must have a description, except if the description is marked as not necessary. The reason for providing description is to, to uh, describe that image for someone who cannot see it yet. So yeah, this is amoeba engulfing. Na lang, short na lang sa. Then click save image. Then you type your question. So again, Balik tadi sa taas, you will know what option you chose because this header here will remind you of what you have clicked earlier. So this is select missing words question. I'll type the, the question now. Does this activity, does this activity require energy? Pwede rin po ha, copy-paste. Now, this is select missing words. Default mark, score, one. And then you will see here, ayan, choices. Yes or no lang. Kaya mo mo Yes or no. Yeah. Does this activity require energy? Or pwede po, if you want, no, mataba. Ayan, sige. Replace nyo with any question other than the yes or no. So, your options here, uh, yes. Or no. Okay. Tapos, for, copy na ito lang. For select missing words, you have to provide that. Okay. Because that is where the options will, will go or malocate mamaya. Provide these symbols. Pag uh, select missing words. Double bucket, tama ba? Okay. Save changes and continue editing. And let's click preview. Pag wala nang problema po as you click on it, save changes and continue editing, then you will see this button 
preview. Ayan. So, let's preview. Does this activity require energy? And click. Ayan. So, this is now the, the output of putting those double brackets. Tama ba ko sa kong term, no? Katong doha ka symbol ka ganyan. Okay. So, let's answer. Yes. And then, let's click submit and finish. Your answer is correct, Anna. So, at this ikaw, you're making the question. Uh, you'll be able to check also the content and uh, re um, edit it if there is something wrong. That's also another good feature of the LMS. Maski kapila ka mamali, you can always edit, edit, edit it. Except lang kung na-post mo na si question, tapos nanay naka-answer na student, tapos na-realize ni mo nga hala naman di mali dito. So, mabonus na lang to sa sa katong nakatake na. No? Na, na. So, let's close preview. At least we know it's correct. Yan. Then, save changes. So, you have already the first question. That is a drop down format using select missing words question type. Okay. So, again, this is a quiz activity. The questions I, I used are, uh, the questions I used were, modif uh, were varied, so that's what we are redoing here. The first question is select missing word type. Let's add another question. Add a new question, and this time, let's use true or false. So simple form of multiple choice question, which is the two choices, true or false. Let's click add. And, yeah, question name, this is number two. Question text, I would still like to use that picture. So, sorry, ha, but if I am too fast, I'm using, again, I would like to use that picture. Add a picture, browse repositories, up, select upload a file because the file is in my uh, laptop. So, choose file. Amoeba. Okay, and then again, describe the image. Well, if you want to be more specific with your description, you can have the uh, can copy paste from your from if you have any source. Yeah, amoeba engulfing. Save image. And then question, nga ba yun? true or false question. Uh, this activity, true or false, no? this activity is this trans or transport mechanism. This transport, transport mechanism, again po pwede po mag copy paste ta. This transport, if you already have your, your test mark or your word file with those questions, pwede na siya i-copy-paste. This transport mechanism is an active, or try na to ha, um, mali siya no, dapat false. This transport mechanism is a, a passive type. Yeah. This transport mechanism is a passive type, so that is a false statement. Default mark, how many points? One. Okay, correct answer, false. Diri po, bantayan po na to kung na, false or true, kung say correct answer. Yeah. So this transport mechanism is a passive type. So the correct answer there is uh, active transport. So that's a false review na tong question. And false. Feedback. Feedback for the response true. What would you like to, to, to have as a prompt if a student answered true? I say, oops. Okay, false man ang answer. Maba? Sige. <laughs> then, kung false. Sorry, if you find it informal, you can replace that with. 
false no? ang correct answer. Double check. Then, save and continue editing. Okay, so question two. Correct answer is false. And let's click preview. And so this transport mechanism is a passive type. Let's say the answer is about true. Submit and finish. Okay, oops, the correct answer is false. Okay. Now what if the ka key in sa answer key? Balik lang po, close preview, and then edit here. It's unlimited editing. Pwede, pwede po natin itama ang ating mali. Yeah. So we already have two questions. Varied type. One is select missing words through a drop-down format. The second one is a, the, se the second quiz question is in a true or false format. Let's add third question. And this time, uh, ano pa ba ang other option? I am drag and drop. Drag and drop markers here. For drag and drop, you will see that there are many types. I drag and drop into text where you have uh, uh, missing words to be filled in by drag and drop or drag and drop marker you know, with the background image. But there's a note here that this question type is not accessible to users who are visually impaired. And then here, drag and drop onto image. That's the, the description and also a note that it's not also friendly for visually impaired. But this is, let's just try uh, drag and drop markers and para makita na ninyo a uh, variety. Add. And this is now question three. Loading. Question three. And still want to use a picture. So you will be, anyway, if, if you're not sure on sa ni mga naadiri, if you put your pointer there and the description will, will appear. I'd like to add an image, browse repositories, upload file, choose file, because it's, if it's in your laptop, this time I'm going to use a different image, okay. amoeba exocytosis. Okay. Describe it again. Amoeba. Discharge. Discharge. Yeah. So we have to provide a description for those who cannot see it. Save the image and then the question. So this is a drag and drop type. No, baka nakalimot ka lang. So, ganyan kung gipindot. So, again, let's look at the uh, header here sa taas. It's adding drag and drop markers. So, continue default mark. Okay. And then, hmm, tama ba? Yan, question text. Or, sorry. Question pala, this is a drag and drop, no? Uh, question. Question. Let's have a question. What activity is shown in the picture? And then you provide the instruction, drag the correct answer on top of, on top of the picture. Anywhere you want it, I put in provide the direction. You can set the the drop zone, meaning that's where the, the students would move the answers. So I drag the correct answer on top of the picture. Then choose a file. The files that are accepted for the background image in your drag drag and drop, you have GI, that GIF, that JPEG, that PNG, and that SVG. Choose a file. It's amoeba. 
plexosa entonces. And so once you have already the, the picture, you proceed. Uh, markers. Markers, this will be the options ng kanong words na yun ang i-drop. So we'll have uh, exocytosis, endocytosis, osmosis. This is related to the, the previous uh, milk, by the way. Effusion. Naghana. Okay. You, can, you can add more markers if you want. And it's also click shuffle, drag items each time the question is attempted. Pwede po, wala. No. If you click that one, meaning kanisela will re uh, rearrange pag mag -re attempt na po si, si student. Drop the zone. Okay. Select drop zone shape. Uh, let's have rectangle. Okay, rectangle, circle, whatever. Yeah. So, when say drop zone, that's where the student will move the answer to. So, kung unsa may answer dito, uh, unsa dito question, <laughs> sorry, uh, drag the correct answer, okay, which activity is shown in the picture. So, this activity is a exocytosis. So, that's what you will put here. Exocytosis. And Rectangle. So, if note, and observe, once you have already selected drop zone, na shape, no, na circle, na polygon, or rectangle, mugawas na siya diri. And then let's click that one, let's move that, and you can actually have that enlarge. You can actually enlarge that one. Maski ang atong instruction is just uh, to, to drag the correct answer on top of the picture. So, para lang na wala'y problema si student kung niya nga pasig pag-drag niya kay gamay lang ang kulang kay kung inaay lang, no? Ano lang? Pinaanak lang ka gamay dira imuhang, uh, imuhang drop zone. It, pag dili siya masakto dira then the, the answer, mas kitama ang gipili na, na answer ni student na exocytosis and then wala na sulod dira. Then it will be marked wrong. So let's be, let's try to be friendly. Yan, top of the picture man atong giingon. Dira. So dapat na sulod lang siya, no? Dapat dito dito sa top. Okay. Sige. Let's try to be, be student friendly. Yan. Then, haba. I'm siguro na dimtan. Anyway, kung nakay nakalimtan na importante, required, dili man ito nung makita itong preview ng button. So, save, and, save, save changes and continue editing. Okay. So, the third variety that we used for the quiz type. Okay. And, okay. So, let's click preview. So, here are now the markers. So, siya. So, pwede pa rin mo pala ganun dira kung gusto ka. And then, the drop zone. Katong gimove na to, no? Dere, sulit sa picture. Drag the correct answer on top of the picture. Uh, picture setting, by the way, you can uh, also set that kung gusto niyo padakuon. So, kung mga answer si bata, sige, example na to, ha? May answer siya, oh, diffusion. Okay. So, submit and finish. Your answer is incorrect. So, okay, the correct answer is exocytosis. Yeah, save changes. So, you now have three questions for three varied question types for your quiz. Okay. So, if you want to add a new question, question type, matching type, short answer, numerical essay, calculated, oh, if you want them to have description. So, if you click that, again, you will have the description there kung unsa nga klase na siya na question type. So, we've added already one. Balik tayo One. One. <laughs> One activity or resource. Tara siya. Tanggalin ko ni sa inyo, ha? If you want the 
na yun ako'y namali o butang dili ko gusto, Ana. Well, you want, can click delete. Are you sure you want to delete the free test? Yes. So, morning gawas na dili to si elicit or si picture analysis na activity. Again, the symbol is a quiz type. Let's move, proceed to the second E, which is uh, engage. Ah, ita ma, engage. <laughs> Add an activity or resource, and this time, uh, recalling what I have shown you this morning, it's it's a page. Okay, kano lang? Just parang uh, parang pang readers digest na short information. So it's a it's a page. Let's click page, and then again, as I said, you will be reminded what. Activity or resource you selected. Adding a new page. So, name. This is now engage. Uh, title ng activity is transport trivia. Okay. And then for the description, this is where you put now the, the content. Okay. So, mga opya lang ko diri, mga copy paste ng ko. I hope, uh, really mag buffers sa. Uh, the screen as I, I move. Mag copy paste ako dere para dili na pareho ka ganyang buntag na di pa minaw yun ko ninyo akong di copy paste ang or akong di type ang course summary. Yan. So, meron na. Meron mag pangit pa siya form ha? because the bullet from the word file that I copied is ingon ani ang nahitabo. So if you want to correct that or to improve that, now and then click this. That is for putting order on an ordered list. Okay, para mawala to siyang forma sa copied na bullet. Yeah. And then let's maximize also other options here. No, the gan kina sila. Sorry, kung dili lang yun ako kaya ni kaning record. Mag-record, record kong instruction or audio. Um, Digay ko ganahan maminaw sa kong tingog balik, no? <laughs> Tapos, kana, nasa mood na ng videohan ako ang sarili. Tapos, i-post dara or i-butan dara. Pwede for you. Okay. So, what I would like to, to try now is uh, para makonect po siya to the previous lessons, there are terms here. For example, nature field na, na na sini na cover na man siya dapat from their previous na competency so let's try to as ha yak ng gusto ni mo siya i alam para for emphasis let's have neutrophil uh, microvilli these were already taken in previous uh, competencies no kan mga uh, cell modifications together with root hair and then say so, any sample the enzymes. Okay. Now, I, I selected three words, three keywords here, and what we're going to do is to use this, and that is to link, no, kind of keychain, a symbol, to link this one to another site or uh, a source. Just click source, and you will be prompted to enter a URL. So, kapit ang itaong saan ako din. Neutrophil, sorry. Sige. Neutrophil. So, let's see. So, example kanila, no? But uh, when, when linking, you, you have to select which material you're going to, to really link na nililipod kayo siya, ano? We have also criteria in selecting instructional material. So, para mas madali ng tadari, hindi na nako isa pang itaon. Then, I will link that here. Itong site. Click link. And then, enter the URL. Okay. And then, click this one. Open in a new window. Para, ano lang, saan yun? Basig, makalimot si estudyante kung dilipod mga good name mo na i-check. Kano siya nga link? No, auto mo puli sa LMS na na window niya. So let's click open in a new window and create link. 
So you see na naka yung ano na yung na, na blue na siya and naka underline kanya. Sa so, tatong isa, you have microvilli. All you have to do again is just click this button, link, and then enter the URL that you want to use. Okay. And then click open in a new window. If you don't want, then just click X button. And then enzymes or unsa pa ng words. Pero again, of course, dili lang po na to e the ganun no. E ang bata magpagkabuang magpag siya. I just chose this and because these are connected also to their previous lesson. And then ang lesson nga pang karun is to, to introduce them is in bold format. Na, naka bold format. So may option dili to click or to use bold. Phagocytosis and pinocytosis. Okay. Then, wala, kato lang siya kay page lang man to. No? And then, click save and display. Ay, sorry. Required. Ay, ang page content. Sorry. I move. Dere din ako na butang ang page content sa description. Okay. And that's where it's supposed to be placed. Not in the description. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Wala ni na kamayos ako. Ano magmamali ka kay pwede radyo ni mo sabon. Yeah. So even if I copied it here, naka wala gihapon yan na guba ang link, no? Gihapon ang link. Yun palang page content. Sorry, mali ako na buot ng kagani yan. And then click save and display. So, ginana na yan now. Ano, parang trivia portion ng mga applications of, of where or where phago and pinocytosis or exocytosis are used in organisms. Okay, so we are now done with two activity types. This is for elicit, that is a quiz type. Engage, this is a a page. Let's add another type. Sige, so, sabi mo itong gusto. Uh, third E na data. Third E, and so yung dito kung kanya niya, you have elicit, engage, and then let's have explore. And for explore, kasi, this is at the cellular level, so um, it would be best if we use animation. And wala man ko hinimo ang animation na ako. Uh, so, I'm going to use an animation found uh, in, the, in another site. So, use URL. Okay. So, by category, URL is found in resources. So, let's click add URL. And name, this is... Uh, endocytosis and exocytosis animation. And it would also be best if you put the duration one minute and uh, review. One minute and 53 seconds. One minute and 53 seconds. It's advisable that you indicate the duration of the video para ka itong mga sudyante, labo na itong mga nagtipid na sa ila or about pa-deplete na ang ilahang uh, load or internet load, then they will be able to budget nga. Sige, kaya pa. Okay. One minute or also, of course, they would know how much uh, time they would have to spend for that. Then put here the external URL. Nara, we ready na na kudain mo. Okay. So if you miss that one, even man asya magred. Okay. External URL. Tapos for the uh, appearance, let's click appearance. And so not the options for the display. We we'll click automatic embed. Open or in pop-up. Unsay, uh, unsay difference ani nila karon. 
if you uh, if you select uh, automatic it will actually move no kung nadiri sa LMS karon ang ang site ang bata pag click niya ana directed siya diretso into the YouTube site if you click embed if you click embed uh, it will, the video will be found on that page and will not be redirected to another tab here or to another site tapos if you click uh, pop up in pop up it will direct to another tab diri mugawas na siya diri asa pikas asa lahi na pud tab okay. so let's use kung open pud that will also open directly to to that site so let's use embed Okay. Again, balik po tayo ha. Pag automatic, diretso siyang open kay YouTube. So, mawala ni si, mawala ang bata ano na page sa LMS. If you click uh, open, the same note, it will be uh, directed to, to YouTube. And then, in pop-up, it will be open. That link will be open to another tab. Okay. So, mag-click lang tag-embed. Makita ninyo ang sa iyahang. Now, okay. so, ang instruction ng ani is actually la lang uh, i-play lang ni ni student for activity completion so balik na pud diri kung unsa tong gusto so activity is complete students can manually mark the activity as completed so again i'm choosing this kay para susante so, kung dili niya feel na dira sa siya or kung wala na siya load nga maka open pa o enough nga maka open pa na well he or she can just go back to it at a later time then click save and display. See? So, ganito po ang itsura if you click embed. So, mira. See? So, we've done the third E. We've maximized uh, a URL resource. Let's go back to week A. And so, review, review. This is, again, kaning nakared. This is quiz format engage can an icon this is a page third one this is a url so let's add another katong nakita nyo ganiha by the way kan siya no para ano lang for variety this is a file so you will the student will be aware you have there the microsoft word form a uh, symbol then aware siya nga pag click niya na then that will actually open a word file or open or download a word file so sampalan lang na to ha uh, kasi this is on the explore uh and then explore stage where students have the opportunity to to work um file here add a new file Tapos, what I would say, module, sorry, module on exocytosis and endocytosis. Sample lang po ito ha, wala po akong module niyan. Okay, and add file. Sorry. Okay, choose file. Sample module, sample lang po ito. And then you might ask nga, pwede raman day yung na i-upload na lang kaya na tanan modules which are already approved or which already passed the quality assurance. Pwede. Na, na-upload na na to. So, yeah. And if you click upload file, yeah. loading lang po do sa hai, no? So, it will also teach us to be patient. And, and the rest that I put in the nato you depend on the uh, uh, customize. There. Balik na to, how it looks. Ayan. So you have this and word file. So na tayo klase klase. We have a quiz. We have a page. We have a URL. We have a file. Pero wala na siya labot sa lesson niya. 
hindi ko na ako for variety. Kunwari, meron kang uh, lesson uh, material on that. Okay. Let's have another type. So, we've done uh, we're now you know, we're done with elicit, uh, engage, explore. Ah, let's do one more content type for explore. Okay, again, explore stage is uh, for students to have an opportunity to to work, or kind of to have to learn. Okay, wala man ka to to lecture. What materials will or to to discuss? What materials are you going to use so that students will learn that lesson? So, human na no URL. We have uh, maximize a file. I okay, this one. Ito medyo mas matagal. Where are you? H5P. Add a new H5P. Ito medyo matagal, pero lingaw. Okay. So, general, uh, kanya kung mas gusto ibutang for explore. Uh, uh, endocytosis and exo. Cytosis, and the cytosis is interactive, and interactive video. Why why do interactive videos? I mean, Anna, para students are not just listening or watching the video clip. Ma nakumbaga na siya part po na himuon. Okay. So, as you scroll down, no, again, balik po tayo. This is an H5P. If you are new to adding an H5P, you will also receive a or na kayo na link for for a tutorial. So if you browse, you have here package file, option for files, and then use or dito sa baba use the content bank. So this is also one difference with uh, DepEd uh, LMS dot DepEd. Kay wala option ngayon ani pag mapipili ka og H5P lahi pud ang uh, ang interface niya so let's click no assuming although i already have i already have a a uh, content file no makita na diri sa kan is content bank i already have a file in the content bank about this one pero Nimo na to siya no. Uh, we have a video. Gusto ni mo nga na kay questions dito. So let's click use the content bank and it there's a, uh, a prompt here that opens in a new window. So let's click this one. And here we'll have content bank. So muna ni ako mga nahimo. So we have here uh, endocytosis and exocytosis and animation or the interactive video. So, ano na, dili ko na i-open dira kay para mas madirect ka. This is an H5P. Again, balik po tayo. This is an H5P resource. And, yeah, H5P. And I wanted to have an interactive video. So, we'll click Content Bank and we were directed here. And you will see the button, or this one, Add. If you click that, uh, the drop-down arrow, you will see the different types which you can actually use or select from. So, it's you know, So, now push I appear in for a chat and talk, audio, course presentation, dialogue cards, drag and drop, drag text, essay, fill in the blanks, find the words, flashcards, guess the answer, interactive video, Mark the words, memory game, ito po yung napakita ko sa inyo this morning. Multiple choice, question set, questionnaire, single choice set, summary, true or false question, and Twitter use feed. At hindi lang ko dira sa Twitter kay wala man po ko Twitter. So, dirita, this interactive video. Chose this po because the lesson is at happening at the cellular level. So, it will be best to uh, provide students this animation to also visualize the lesson. Okay, so step one, 
I'm sorry, required no pag may asterisk kasi this will appear used for searching reports and copyright information. I also observed na kasi nakahimo naman gugunaw in the lms.deped.gov when I yan, when I click tile, uh, title ng gawas ni sila some of this, for like example, part two, label me right. I've actually placed it in this activity was actually made in lms.deped.gov.ph. It can still be uh, accessed. However, we were instructed to use lms-test.deped.gov.ph. Okay, so let's have a title. Nagbutang uh, naman yung interactive video, no? And then an example, interactive video 2. Title. So let's add the video. If you have made a, a video yourself, then you can click and look for the file. You now upload video file or paste the, the link here. So you uh, ano lang po ha? once you have a video that's available on YouTube, then there's no need for you to download it. Tapos, i-download, i-save sa mga laptop, tapos i-butang na po siya diri kayo upload video file. No. You select this option. If you have made your file, then, uh, diri, kanina option. No? Kung nakakay video ni mo na na-explain ka na nga, nga lesson. So, I'm going to use this. This is also a good thing for those teachers who have already started creating their YouTube uh, ayan, accounts or yeah, yeah. So for you to have more views and, and yeah, more views and hopefully subscribers also. Yeah, promote. Okay. So, example, gamiton ko niya. Balik lang. Kani lang. Yeah. Basi, please don't be, don't be confused. Mo naman ang video ka gani, ha? Gigamit na po niya karun. Uh, this is just to show to you what you can do with the file. Insert. Are there? Yeah, you might be. Uh, uh, ano ba? Anxious seeing this edit copyright. Wala po tay copyright infringement because we are linking this. Ano lang? Pwede na to ni revise ng title. Yeah. Tapos source. Wala na siya nag-automatic. Sorry ha kung pagkita niyo kaganihan na ni option. Kasi again, I have already used this here. 2017 source yeah. then click save there so the video is already there as a man ang interactive meaning not yet done so click edit and and you missed, balik ta diri, you're done with step one only, uploading or embedding a video. Proceed to step two. Proceed to step two. Yeah. So, you will have here the, the options. Kaya na diri sa taas, o itong isa-isahon. This one will allow you to Provide label. Cancel na to niya. Sige. Mm -hmm. okay. So this, uh, let's proceed to step two. Adding the interactions now on your video. So you want to add a text. can add a table. Uh, can you, this one is a label. It's a text. You can add a table, then you can add also another link, an image, statements, single choice set, multiple choice set, uh, true or false question, sorry, true or false question, fill in the blanks. You can also add a drag and drop, mark the words, drag text, crossroads, and navigation hotspot. Okay. So, the, uh, yeah, let's go here with adding. Ah, can I talk play now, huh?
The substances taken in by single-celled organisms are often particles or large polar molecules that cannot cross the hydrophobic plasma membrane. Many single-celled eukaryotes employ endocytosis to ingest such food particles. Yeah. So after that statement, uh, I would like to add hmm, multiple choice question. There statement. Yeah. So if you have now chosen what you want to add, what interactive you wish to add, you will be prompted to select the display time. The first cell indicates the start display time that the uh, the interactive will appear. So this is 22 second on the 20 second 20, 20 second the time and up to the 32. So more like 10 seconds siya nga nasa screen dugay ra pud kayo no. We can set that into para di lang niya matabunan ang concept. You can customize this based on whatever content that you have. So let's say for just 3 seconds or 2 seconds. I said 24. Okay. Tapos, you have an option kung how the, the interactive will appear on the screen. So, either it's a button you will, where the students will see this symbol or it's a poster. So, a button is, uh, is a collapse interaction and the student has to, to click on that or to press that to open the interactive. If, they opted to ha if you opted to have the poster, it's an expanded interaction that's displayed directly on top of the video. So, makita sa diretso dito. Ako, mas ganahan ko anin. Okay. Ang button mo sahay ba si uh, Dili makita ba makalitaan? Okay. So, question, uh, let's say, question one. Question one. So, what is the question? Uh, so, gipili, sorry. Uh, multiple choice ba to? Yeah. Mm. Phagocytosis. But uh, the, the question that you have to add here in this interactive has to be related to the content which has already played. No? Kaya nag-pause man ko on the 20 second na, na time, then kung unsa tong na-play na in the, the uh, 0 to 21 na second, maput dapat relevant akong question dito. Kaya karoon kayo nakalimot kung unsa tong na-play dito. No? Kaya nga. <laughs> The substances taken in by single-celled organisms are often particles or large polar molecules that cannot cross the hydrophobic plasma membrane. Many single-celled eukaryotes employ endocytosis to ingest such food particles. Okay. Yeah. So what process do cells use to ingest particles? Then options. Ah, sorry, balik ko dito ha. You have the options. Ang answer dito is uh, endocytosis. And you have to click this, correct. Okay. And provide another option. Endocyte, ah, sorry, exo. Exocyte. Dosis. Pwede duha lang option, pwede ni mo dungagan pa niya by clicking add option. Okay. So, since klaro man ganyan sa title sa video na endocytosis, exocytosis, duha lang sa akong ibutang. You can still provide other possible options. Click na ba to? Correct answer is endocytosis. Ah, so, yun, basta just in case. Click. You click. Save. Save. Yeah. So you will see once na, na save na to ni siya na interactive, this will appear on the video you've embedded. So if you put your uh, mouse or your cursor over that, you will see there's a, a multiple choice interactive that that's added on that part. Plasma membrane employ endocytosis to ingest such food particles. Yeah. And the video automatically uh, pauses and the 
the interactive appears on the screen. And then once a student completes that, so nakita nyo karun, uh, aso, pagka human, kung nahuman na siya, murag kulang no, ana, pangit, di ba? Mag-drag-drag pa siya, pwede pa man natuunta na siya ipadako. So let's click edit. Let us click edit and go back to interactions. And here, pinuto na, na siya. Let's go to that part and you will see this one. If you click the interactive, you will be uh, given these options here. Content, uh, the, the, the tools, so you can actually edit the interactive, copy it, bring to front, send to back, or remove. So I'll click edit. Ay, sorry, pala edit na okay naman dito yung kasalud. Done. I'll move this. You can actually move that. Tapos, ayan. Para magawas, ma-appear na to si check. Dili na mag-move, move sa, mag-scroll the si student. Okay. Add another interaction. This na. process, the plasma membrane extends outward and surrounds the food okay. particle. So, you observe that nag-disappear siya upon reaching the time frame ng kay sani moto imo ang motong important sa display time setting the the display time kay hindi dito nimo i set ang end niya or katong naka default uh, sometimes ma mawala ang purpose of the sa video na matabunan siya matabunan siya sa inyong interactive so let's try another one na manatag ano you know, um, multiple choice so, pwede pa ka magbutang dira o true or false. Kana. So, you can maximize that one. Sige, try taglahi para makita niyo sa inaong niya. Cytosis. If the material the cell takes in is particulate, such as a bacterium or a fragment of organic matter, the process is called phagocytosis. Okay, I'll pause there. And I'll add a true or false. So, ang last na discuss sa video is phagocytosis, which is a type of uh, endocytosis, I would like to use a uh, true or false question. Okay, so 46 man to siya, I'll get no, kung 10 seconds, sorry. If that's 10 seconds, that's very long on the screen. So the display time, pwede 48, 2 seconds only. Okay, so if you want, gusto yung puno button lang, try na tong button so you will see how it looks. Uh, label. Uh, Anong label, this will be displayed next to this icon. Two, false, question. Okay. Untitled na lang sa siya. So, question. Phagocytosis is like a cell eating process. Correct answer. Don't forget to click which is the correct answer. So from this statement that is true, let's click done. And there you have it. So morning now pag button niya. So pag i-play na to na one. Or a fragment of organic matter. The process is called phagocytosis. A and the student has to click this one. Ay, naka-edit setting pala ko. Sige, for edit, ano, palik yung tanto. Let's uh, change it into poster. Okay, done. Ayan. So, kung naka-poster type, ayan na pa siya. Then, pagawas lang na si check. Para student can also click that while they're completing the interactives. Okay? Then, done. That's what else? Gusto pa siyong ka magpuntang paglain class. Through receptor mediated endocytosis. Nandere. Ikaw ng bala if you want to add another image. Statement. And let's go to step three. Summary task. This optional summary quiz will appear at the end of the video. Optional summary quiz will appear. So, pwede rapod. Wala. 
So do happen to a class, this is a multiple choice, and then you have true or false question. Okay. Then pag class ay dire, pwede na ito ay pambutang. Okay. Then click save. Ayan. So, you now have your interactive video. Again, this is an H5P. So, asa naman niya na add to? Remember that you were, uh, you were directed to this content bank. So, let's go back to editing and this tab, adding a new H5P. This is uh, explore stage in, or explore part in the instructional design and you wanted to use interactive video. So, going back here, package file, dirita naghimo, di ba? We click use the content bank where we were directed to this and naghimo taani and we already click save. Nakapangalan niya is interactive video. Now, let's look for that by clicking files this time. Click files and naradiri si content bank. That's where you're going to select the file. So, on sa gay file name ato, ayon interactive video. This is one difference also with the that uh, elements that that ad site. Kay again, balik ha, may direct pa kaniya diri. Whereas did to automatic na ma mag, mag add ka no of interactive video. Okay. And then save. Then binalintan. Click. Save and display. Okay, so loading. Yeah, so gawas na nasa karon sa screen. Basta mong ilhanan kanang na ay kana na symbol. Yeah, that means there's an interactive added in the embedded video. Okay, so let's go back to your week eight. You've now tried, let's review. Again, this is a quiz. This is a page. This is a URL. This is a Word file. This is an H5P in the form of an interactive question. Okay, so let's proceed. So, uh, elicit, engage, elicit, engage, and explore three. Kani wala ni siya sa kung ana. Can you see animation? If you don't want to make an interactive video, then you can just use this for the explore stage or whatever uh, part in your lesson flow now. Okay. Tapos, uh, add an activity or resource. Okay. After the, after the, uh, the interactive video, now I would like to provide questions. Kung ikaw nung gusto nako, I would like to provide guide questions to the students. Now you, there are also other options you can do here. You can post. You can use a forum where whatever question that you made, and then ang answers na mga sujante pang mag magdiscuss sila dito makita ni mo. And then you will also see uh, before the the. the Students' answer will be posted in a forum. It, they have to complete, they have to answer it, and then post it to us, discuss, discuss sila. And you will also know who answered that. Okay. So let's try. H5P na punta para makita ninyo kung unsay lahi niya na no? for, for guide questions. They are used. Okay. So H5P, this is a title. This is for the explain. Explain part uh, guide questions. Okay. Then, balik na puta again. If you're still creating, use content bank. Tapos, yan. So na natin na himo diri. Na na ko yung himo guide questions natin, no? Pero, Itong usabon na ito. Kaninga symbol. Let's look for this symbol. You have a pencil and a check mark. Okay. So that is actually a questionnaire format. So, gusto ta maghimo ta o questionnaire format. No, kay guide questions mani. So, students will just uh, encode their, their question. Okay. So, title... No, no, guide questions. So, sabunin na po na to. 
kahit questions lang. No challenge. But you can uh, be more specific to that. So choose library. Click here, choose library. And what type of questionnaire would you like to have? Is it an open-ended question or a simple multiple choice? So since I wanted students, um, balik tayo ang ilahang, ni, leading to the competency which is to differentiate uh, gusto na ko umuagi sa sila nga makita na ko nga masabtan na ko uh, mas, makita na ko kung nasabtan ba nila kung una sa ang endocytosis o exocytosis so i will use open ended question okay untitled lang usa so what is the question now uh, sige so from the lessons from the katong from the activities that you've provided before it from the the video the interactive videos or from the file nga imuhang gi gihatag for them you provide open ended questions now so ay dili po ta maghatag og question no nga kanang sani wala didto sa na lesson the students na bait tendency no bang mga estudyante nga wala man gi lesson wala man gi discuss Oh, man, it did too. So let's also be uh, conscious na the questions at least uh, dili siya na, uh, kanang repetitive nga na na dito. Dili lang po siya simple nga, nga what questions. So let's try. Describe. Or a question format na lang ako ha para uniform ta na. What happens during endocytosis. So good sa ta sa simple na question no bago ta mo why. What happens during endocytosis? And then my placeholder text tapos input row you have here the the field where students will put their answers. So you can select pila mo gusto one line, two, three, ten. Ten kung feeling ni mo ka na yung mga sa, sa ilahan no, or kung taas-taas ang expected na answer for that question. So, so what happens during endocytosis? Ito na to, ten. Ten lines na. Okay. Then click, save. So ang say now, ano niya ron? That's how your H5P questionnaire will appear. Isa pa lang na siya. So, edit na po ta. Let's add one more. Or, sige, tayo itong lahat na po. Ayan. So, kung mag-add na po ka, just click, if you want to add question to the to your questionnaire, click add element. And then, select. Still, I want an open-ended question. Uh, question number two, why are there three types of endocytosis? So, dili siya what are the three types of endocytosis, kundi why. Why are there three types of endocytosis? Ito na po na to, oh, 10 lines. Tapos, click save. So, you have those sample. And two questions now. So, na to, ha? What happens during endocytosis? So, there's a prompt na start writing. So, pag-click ka na, na student will answer. And then, so mawala to siya na prompt. Okay. Tampo lang. Then click continue. What are the, why are there three types? There are blah, 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 blah. Then continue. And you will, uh, the student will receive a prompt that you successfully answered all of the questions. Okay. So back or click submit. Again, this is an H5P in the form of a uh, an end, uh, questionnaire. Okay, so, let's click close. So, ang sa pangalan ato niya, guide questions lang. Halika na to, we, we click, sorry, we click on H5P, we were directed to have it on our content bank, and that, the, the guide questions is a questionnaire type. So going back here to your uh, adding of the activity. So instead of clicking content bank, didn't um, click sa file. It's in your content bank now. Click content bank and guide questions. Select this file 
and gonna save and display. So, nanana na yung now. And you can add more questions. Okay. So, we've tried. Balik ta. Okay. Again, this is a quiz activity or resources. Now, let's review. This is a quiz. This is a page. This is a URL. This is a file. These are H5Ps. But this H5P here is in the form of an interactive video. And this H5P here is in the form of a questionnaire. Okay. So, sa pabay, pwede na to ma-add. Ma I still have time. Sige, 20 minutes. So, so 20, 30, 20 minutes. So, yeah. so, let's have one more for independent practice. Ah, okay. This is now on the elaborate stage. I already have elicit, engage, uh, explore, explain. So, I have four E's now. I have three is left. <laughs> Sige. So, wala na ako ni Giapilog count ha. Si Endo, animation, and si module. Kas, uh, I only added this for you to see um, other options in giving the, the, the lesson. Okay. So, let's add for elaborate. Let's go back. Activities. I still would like to use H5P. Activity. Tapos, uh, name. This is now on the elaborate. Then, diagram. Okay. Tapos, again, kung maghimo pa ta, click content bank. Okay. Tapos, add. So, so Venn diagram, you know, instead nga, at bali naman, siguro, yeah. We're familiar with the Venn diagram. And I would like to have, i sorry, missed. Yun, drag and drop. So this is an H5P interactive content in a form of a drug, sorry, in the form of a drag and drop. So the title is, no, nang gawas na dira mga nahimo na ko dati. Venn diagram, Venn lang daw. So para dili duplicate. Background image, this is optional. Sa imuang Venn diagram. So, we proceed to step two. Yeah. So, your task here is to add drop zone. This is to add a text and to add the image. Drop zone is where, again, di ba nagamit na ganiha po uh, drag and drop? But this is an H5P. So, finish siya. This is a drop zone. You will be required to start by placing your drop zones or identifying and then putting the droppable elements tapos i-edit. No. So, I'd like to use kay Venn diagram akong gusto. I'd like to add an image. Uh, so, again, titled image na lang sa. Then, click add. Add diagram. Venn diagram. For Hmm. Let's see. Kung image ang mong gusto gamitin dito ah. So I can't find the image. I wanted to use I wanted to use a So, drop zone. So, let me look for that file muna. Where is my Venn diagram? Okay. So, going back here, I hope I can find that image. Desktop. Yun. My Venn diagram. Then you can edit the image. See. And you can move that or crop. So, so. so. Sorry. You can uh, cancel that one. Tapos, or you can, I mean, you can edit the, the image. And then click done. 
Ay, sorry. May required text dari, you know, alternative text. If the browser cannot load the image, how would you describe this for those readers ng mga text to text to speech? So this is a Venn diagram. Comparing endocytosis and exocytosis. And there's an option na, na to, to display a text if you hover your pointer over the, the image. Okay. So, nana, and then click to enlarge this one. So, may mo ay pangit mag now. Again, natin yung button dere to click edit. Yeah. Crop. Let's crop that. Ay. Okay. No, mawala itong morag pangit na. For the, for the quality, can always uh, improve it no, sa mga layout. Yeah. And click done. So, we've already have, we already have this image for the Venn diagram. Now, magdakulapit sayo, no? Pero at least ay nadira ang, ang source. No, let's go to adding a drop zone. See? So, again, what's the drop zone? That's where the answers will be placed. I'm going to put label uh, endocytosis. What's the labels? Diba? I wanted to have a, a Venn diagram. So, the labels that I need would be a label for, for endocytosis, a label for exocytosis, and then the similarities. And then you might say, na naman to siya sa drawing, anong kailangan pa mana? Because this is for the drop zone. Okay? So, click endocytosis. Uh, there's no need to, to show the label because the, uh, kato siya, na napo siya sa picture. Pero kung ang imuhang picture sa Venn diagram, wala well, label na endo or exocytosis, then you can click show label. Background opacity can change this to, to zero. For, for zero, meaning it's transparent. The numbers you can have is zero to, to 100. Okay, so, like... The, the drop zone to have a zero na, uh, for transparency niya. Okay, and then click, done. So, mo ni siya karun ang drop zone. Meaning, dira ibutang ni student ang answer. But this is too small and I would like it to, make, to be bigger. So, endocytosis dira. Kasi, as I mentioned also earlier, when we use drag and drop, kung unsa lang nakadako, dira lang yun po yung i-recognize na correct. So, even if tama ang na, na drag ni bata na, na answer, tapos hindi yun na masulod dira ah, kay diri lang ano na kagamay. So, endocytosis, let's say this portion here, let's extend up a little there because there are texts which are very long and will not fit in the, the image. Okay. So, this is a drop zone. And then, click pata another drop zone for uh, exocytosis. I will not click show label, can any label sa Venn diagram. I'll change this into zero and then click done. So, sa galito, exocytosis. So, ato ni is bug diri. Parang tunong siya dito ka exocytosis. Atong padakan kay para dili magkabuang ang sudyante nga. Magsigi siya drag. Kung man dili man gihapon masulod. Okay. Then, add another drop zone. This is for similarities. A and zero. Yeah. So let's extend this one para dako dako space masulan si bata sa yahang answer. Na. Okay. So we already have your drop zones. That the, the, uh, that's the first part. Next would be the text. Unsa ning text mo ni katong ilang ipang drag. Okay, so untitled text lang sa ta. Do you make the text? Uh, so, nana dito, select drop zones. Uh, so, man yung mga options na to karun for the, for the Venn diagram. Let's just provide three options. Ha. Takes in matter. This answer is for endocytosis. So, again, we are now adding the, the text for the Venn diagram. The text should have a corresponding drop zone. So, si takes in matter, dito ni siya dapat mahulog kay endocytosis. Yan. Okay. For, uh, for the 
for the background na yung text, we can reduce that into 50. Then click done. So, nang gawas na sa text and matter, let's move it there on the side. Para mong gamay siya. Eh, muna nakaroon ng i-drag-drag sa estudyante. Eh, that's another text. Uh, eliminates waste. Eliminates waste. This is for exocytosis. So, you have to click select the drop zone. Pag dili ni mo na ma-select, wala siya i-recognize nga ng correct nga answer dito. Eliminates waste is for exocytosis. Now, let's see kung dili na ko ni i-change on say now niya. We're not going to change that. It's darker ang background niya compared to takes in matter which I reduced into 250. If you want to make the transparent, then you set the, the number two to zero. Let's add one more text, use energy. This is the similarity ng dalawa. So click the drop zone is similarity. But let's try reducing this into zero para makita niyo yung differences nila. The layout ng siya. And then you can add more here. So you see this one, ang opacity niya is... 50, 100, and this is 0. Okay. So, na-identify nito. Let's click Save. Hopefully, wala na yung nalimtan. And then, let's try. Oh, this is 50. Ang background, no? Ang, ang sa transparency diri. This is 0. Kaya it's 100. So, let's try. This is a drag and drop. Takes in matter. And endocytosis. Tapos, eliminates waste dara. Use energy. Okay. Now, you notice nga katong na yung mga box or na lines for the box. You can edit that for behavior setting. Sige. Click check. Ay. Sige. So, nga na note mo yung kanga tama man ang answer pero nga nung mali. So, let's go back to edit. Asa na siya karun? Basi, asa man ka na add to no? Let's go back to the task. Tapos, talika uh, dere endocytosis. Nganong dili niya i-recognize na kato ang answer na tama man to siya. So, let's go back to your drop zone. Click edit. Yan. So, nganong wala siya na read o yang answer. Tama man nung to. So, si endocytosis, you have to select the correct element. That is, takes in matter. You have to check that. Then, click done. Then, let's go to similarities. Click. For similarities, ang answer dito is text, uh, I mean, use energy. Click done. And then here, uh, edit. This is exocytosis. So, click na to ni mo na ang correct answer dito. Okay. Yan. So, let's see. Hopefully, tama na no. Wala na tayo nalimtan. Click save. Let's try. Takes in matter. Eliminates waste. Use energy. Check. So, itama na siya. So, ang ato na pong gusto, pwede na to i-edit is katong markers no, sa box. Let's go back to edit. And let's go to the button sa baba. Yan, behavioral settings. Okay. Behavioral settings, natay option diri. Drop zone highlighting. Motong katong mo gawas ng box, box, box niya. Let's click never. Dito mo gawas. Okay. Tapos, nato i-retry. Pwede nato tanggalun na. And then, pwede nato i-uncheck or unclick si apply penalties and then you read this other options for the behavioral setting depending on how you want the the Venn diagram to to appear okay click save so na save na ni si si Venn ang title Venn lang ha kay na kay na ko na himo nga Venn diagram so let's have here let's go back to that H5P Venn diagram we're trying to make and this time let's click and content bank 
So, mugawas na to dapat din si Ben. Then, select this file. And then, save and display. Okay. So, mugawas na na siya. You've already added... Tanong na to, balik hang for week 8. Sample na sample activities. Grabe itong balik-balik, no? So, you have this is a quiz type. This is a, a page. This is a URL. This is a file, a Word file. This is an H5P in the form of an interactive video. This is an H5P in the form of a questionnaire. And this is an H5P in the form of a drag and drop activity. Okay? So, uh, see, kaya pa. Five minutes. Uh, let's have one more. And, say, okay. one, two, three, four, five. So, I still have two E's left, which are extend and evaluate. So, extend na lang akong ipakita. I have, yeah, five minutes left. Extend na lang akong ipakita kasi for evaluate, I can, ano, sa quiz type naman na siya usually ang pwede na to ihimo dito. Okay. So, mabalik ka with this format. So, I'll just add one for katong sa extend part in the instructional design. And last naman ko, so I would like to use an assignment. Okay. So, assignment name, this is uh, for the extend part. This is for the extend part in the instructional design. And I would like to connect the lesson to, uh, kasi extend, no? Of course, that is for transfer of, transfer of knowledge. Uh, to connect this into to the coronavirus, so I have uh, seen a medical animation. I, there, medical animation showing the, or it's trying to explain the mechanism of action of the coronavirus in relation also to uh, endocytosis. And so I'm going to use this one. Balik sa editing assignment. Okay. So, description, provide the link, and then, kung sa man itong instruction sa baba, watch, the assignment, no? Watch the medical animation. So, ito siya yung ikon title. Medical animation explaining, explaining mechanism of action of the corona virus in relation to our lesson on uh, endocytosis. Then, answer the questions. Okay, so you type the, the questions here also. One, how does... Pwede na po mong copy-paste ha? So, copy-paste na sa pwede mo yung buang sige. Pamino, so ako mag-encode. Where are the questions? Sige. And second question. Okay. So how does endocytosis work in the entry of the virus to the host cell? Second, how will your knowledge in this lesson Lesson, help you to stay safe during this pandemic. So that's the assignment. Assignment po ito ha, we're down to the last part in the instructional design. So wala na ako madungag si evaluate. Extend medical animation. For availability, in, in a, and click sa nako na. No? Pero pwede nyo maset dira kung isang nga date pwede mag-submit um, submissions, uh, submit, submit, mag submit the assignment to student. And then cut off date. Kana, cut off date. Kailangan to but ngan kung kung so ni kung bilit ta gusto nga mag kung mag relax relax ang sojante. And then it will also yeah, allow, it also has a feature to, to remind us to, to grade the assignment on that day. Okay. Tanggalo na sa anak ko ni ha, kaya basig, kung ba, demo ba yan, basig, tinga kung anong ma-remind ko niya, wala man ko i-check. 
Okay, but you can, of course, please uh, customize this to suit your uh, desire for the particular date. Okay. Ang akong gusto is online text. Okay. So, meaning mag-type sila. May part sa assignment na pwede sila mag-type. And uh, word limit. Sige, wala lang sa. Bahala sila. Kung may gusto magpa-miss universal answer, so be it. Okay. And then there are other options here. Click save and display. So, yun na ng naong niya karun for the assignment portion or the extend activity the medical animation. So, this is what we encoded earlier. And then, grading summary. No. So, view submissions. Wala pa. Okay. So, balik ta. Ay, sorry. Nubra. Then, some, uh, medical animation. Let's switch roles so that we will see how the assignment is going to look for, for the student. Uh, student ang mag-view. Tata si assignment medical animation there okay so submission status no attempt student ito ha this is na student view so they will see this they will be able to, to click on the video to play the video then the questions are here so submission come uh, submission status no attempt so they will click add submission and there, you have online text. This is now where the student will type their answer. Kaya nga kung gipili ganiha is online text, not a file submission. E para, ano, mas gaan on the part of the student na dili na sila mag-encode sa so word, tapos si mag-upload na po, diretsyo na lang diri. Okay, so if those, for those who are using cell phones, then diretsyo na po sila type for their, for their answers here. Okay. Save changes. So you see, and let's go back to our normal world pala. Going to my normal world. Ay. So, again. So, this is now in the teacher mode. Let's go back to the subjects. Or to the, the lessons in the subject. And so we've added again. The view na to ha. This is a label. This is not necessary. If you want to put an announcement, you have to put it there by clicking here. You have to put the announcement in the announcement section. But I, the reason I only put this is for, for visibility right away for students. And then if this is already completed or done, I can remove that. Tapos, lessons. We have made, so we create na to This is a quiz format. This is a page. This is a URL. This is a Word file. This is an H5P in an interactive video. This is an H5P in a questionnaire format. This is an H5P in a form of a drag and drop activity. And this is an assignment. Okay? So, that's one lesson. Minus the, the assessment part, no evaluation. So, kung gusto ka, i-add to siya. Uh, sorry. Balik lang po, no? Okay, the, the, the uh, evaluation format which I have prepared is in a form of a multiple choice type of test. And naka ready naman po ng question, so I can just select also creating a new quiz for evaluate. Those are the, the some of some, some, pa lang, some of the various activities and resources which we can put in the LMS. Okay. So, daghan pa kayo ito for us to explore. Magdili makaya na nga ka ng discuss na ito, no? And my time is was already up. So, at least naka-accomplish ta ani nila. Okay. I hope you learn and, uh, you know, we, the, the very essence of this webinar is for us to be familiar with the LMS. So, hopefully, after ani, or habang nag-discuss ko, nakasabay mong himo po. Sorry if I'm, I'm too fast, you know, kasi uh, as much as possible, makakabot at dagdaghan. Uh, yes, hopefully, we can still have access to this after para pwede na ito i-play-play. You know, nakabisaya pa dyan ko. Sorry if I also used uh, Sibilish. You know, Sibuano, Bisaya, English. Naglahi-lahi na ta. So, uh, the, again, the, the very essence of the webinar, we're now at the cluster level is that for teachers to be ready with the use of the LMS. The rest, 
we can navigate, we can explore, and at least we know already some of those uh, various activities and resources. So, daghan kaayong salamat, and I hope nga naamoy nga tunan from this uh, walkthrough with the LMS. So again, uh, once again, thank you very much. Muli, maraming maraming salamat po, Dr. Jen, sa paglaan po ninyo ng inyong oras at panahon na maibahagi sa amin ang inyong kaalaman patungkol sa LMS. Sa punto naman ito, ating pakikinggan ang isa rin sa mga di matatawarang guro pagdating sa larangan ng research. Siyempre, mula pa rin sa Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School, Dr. Chito R. Napitan, Master Teacher 1, para sa Embracing DepEd Vision, Mission, and Goals. Dr. Chit. My courtesy to our Regional Director, Dr. Evelyn Fetalvero, ARD Maria Ines C. Asuncion, and all other personnel of DepEd Davao Region. To the top management of the Department of Education, Schools Division of Davao City, headed by SDS Reynaldo M. Guillena, ASDS Basilio Manaay Jr., ASDS Emma Camporedondo, and all the people in the division office. Cluster 2 school heads, headed by our PSDS, Dr. Isidora Sermino, teachers, parents, learners, and to the men and women of Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School, headed by our school principal, Dr. Leo B. Asilo, and the science teachers of DRANS, headed by Ma Maria Luz V. De Asis. Good afternoon. Once again, I am Chito Arnapitan, a classroom science teacher from Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School. My task this afternoon is to share with you the guiding statements of the Philippine Department of Education entitled Embracing, Embracing DepEd's Vision, Mission, and Core Values. I know that some of you may have witnessed this presentation already, last division training of trainers, and some have not heard this presentation yet. Well, I encourage you to join me today at this moment because I am very hopeful that after watching and listening in this presentation, you will internalize your roles aligned with the understanding of DepEd's vision, mission, and core values. Once you internalize your roles aligned to our organization's vision, mission, and core values, you are expected to, first, Reflect on the deeper meaning of DepEd's vision, mission, and core values. And second, to convey your pledge of commitment in the realization of the DepEd's vision, mission, and in upholding of DepEd's core values. To embrace an organizational mantra, objectives, and dreams for the non-crafters of it require effort an effort to make the men and women of the organization understand the underpinning principles, concepts, contexts, and experiences that led to the realization of these big statements, the vision, mission, and core values of the Department of Education. This is my ultimate task this afternoon. And I hope that you will rekindle the very first day that you enter public service in the Department of Education. So sit back, relax, and join me as we embrace our vision, mission, and core values. Before we start embracing the vision, mission, and core values of DepEd, let us go back to our memory lane. What was your premise the very first day you entered the Department of Education? I will give you 20 seconds to think of an answer. You may, sh you may share your answers in the comment section below.
Okay, time is up. Here are some of the possible answers. Maybe you have thought to dedicate your time and energy in teaching your students. Perhaps others answered that you need to make sure that your students are learning from you. Some may consider that they will study hard so that you can teach well to your students. You may have promised that you will share a portion of your salary for the instructional materials. And some may have said that they will share their talent for the development of the school. Well, all of these promises are really good. Why do I need to ask you about this? Well, all of us made a sworn promise, this is our oath, that we will be a contributor to our department, that we will strive to do our best for our learners and stakeholders the moment we stepped in, in the Department of Education. More than ever, this is the time when we are most needed, not only as a teacher, but as a source of inspiration to our learners that we can learn new things, that we will embrace change and that education can continue even with the presence of the pandemic, that together we can adapt to change and make education happen. I hope that we will, uh, that we will assault our routines and take humility as we are all in this learning curve. Now let's focus to our learners. I have a question once again to all of you. How do you see your incoming learners 10 to 20 years from now? Again, I will give you 20 seconds to think of an answer. You may share your answers in the comment section below once again. All right, thank you for thinking with me. Therefore, I have prepared possible statements to answer the query. Some of you may answer like, they are successful in their chosen careers. Others thought that their learners realize their ambitions in life. Many might add that these learners will become productive citizens of the country. The majority of you might consider that these children will become responsible individuals and a number of you may have thought that they are good parents, their children, and I know that there are more ideas with you. As teachers, we have these thoughts when we face our learners at the beginning of the school year, in the middle of it, or even during their completion and graduation. We have a strong desire to see them as such, for their success is our success too. Therefore, I would like to congratulate the teachers of Cluster 2 Secondary School for producing such people. Let us not be intimidated when our former learners are successful or richer than us. Instead, we should be grateful for they have realized their dreams when they are still dreaming inside your classroom. You too have a personal vision for yourself, in your career, in your family life, and even in your personal and financial life. Realize that vision, think big, start small, and work every day. Therefore, what it takes for dreams to be achieved. First, clarity of dream and vision. Clarity about your dream is the single most important step to success. Successful people and organization walk their talks. They don't give theories that don't work. They have clarity into their dreams and insight into their direction. Second, clear strategy. People or organization with clear dream and vision does not only stick to the idea but write strategies, specific plans, and procedures to realize the dream. They are careful in thinking of these strategies. Third, aligned objectives or aligned activities. When the strategies are laid out and plans are in place, 
series of activities and programs shall be tested if that will work or won't work to reach that dream. Result-oriented activities are important to motivate a person or, or, or an organization like DepEd to realize a vision. And fourth, clear understanding of roles. This is very important in an organization, especially in the Department of Education. Very large organization must have a clear job and authority description to avoid overlapping of roles of people in it and must consider that all workers in the organization are contributors to success. When people are empowered and valued, their roles are not only clear to them, but will contribute more beyond expectation. Now let us begin to look closer into our DepEd vision, mission, and core values. Let us read our DepEd vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. Let's ponder on these questions. While we are reciting, what were you thinking of? Were you visualizing for the school heads, the teachers, the learners? What or where will they be 5, 10, 20 years from now? And what will your contribution be as an instructional leader towards the realization of the DepEd vision? Now let's take a closer look. We dream of Filipinos. Our vision is more than just the end goal of a plan. It is a dream, a wish, a prayer that we fervently hope for and what we diligently work towards. By envisioning, we begin to fulfill our mandate and responsibilities stated in the Republic Act Number no. 9155 or Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001 and do our duties as Filipinos who passionately love their country. We want to develop learners who are true citizens in, and patriots who have a strong desire to serve their country and work for its betterment. So in what ways can our learners show nationalism? How can we as teachers reinforce this nationalism? To stand proud and sing the Philippine national anthem during flag ceremony is a desirable behavior every learner must learn. However, nationalism goes beyond routines. It is best demonstrated when our learners do it with passion and love, translating these routines to tangible actions like supporting local products, participating in community activities, using social media to promote Philippine pride, and many more. As teachers, we can reinforce these by modeling these behaviors to them. It sounds cliche, but our learners learn best when they see it through credible adults like us. And we whose values and competencies. We need to do two things. First, inculcate these values deemed necessary and desirable and train students to make sure they have the necessary competencies. By looking at our K-12 framework, the ultimate goal of this program is for us to produce a whole person. A person does not only possess the knowledge and skills, but also the necessary attitudes and values. Let us not forget that as we teach the mind, we should equally educate the heart. Let's continue. Enable them to realize their full potential. What do you want to be when you grow up? That is the question that we are oftenly asking our students every start of the school year. That is why career guidance is very important to motivate our learners to choose a career and in effect, they will become contributors to nation building. 
teachers also teach them values and morals in the hope that one day, when they do find their talents and realize the greatness that they have within them, they can choose to use this for good. We need to make sure that these are happening in the classrooms, in our very own classrooms. As young as they are, our students have already their ambitions in life, and teachers need to nurture that ambition into the hearts of our students. As instructional leaders, let us help ensure that we are nurturing teachers in the classroom. Every learner in our classroom, may it be in the physical classroom or in a virtual classroom, he, he or she is a potential. It is our responsibility to nurture that gift, to believe in them so that they will believe in themselves. Just like the trend right now, that many are into plants. When we, when we make an effort to plant, we must also make sure that we can provide it with basic needs and care so that it will bloom. Humans are not plants. They are a complex being. Our learners are coming from different contexts and family backgrounds, from a different socioeconomic background, as well as varied culture. Therefore, it takes energy and effort to educate them so that one day they can stand on their own, ready to meet life surprises head on. Now we continue and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. Because as a learner-centered institution, we want them to know how to improve themselves and realize their dreams while keeping in mind the state of their country and the welfare of their people. In turn, Filipino realize their potential not for selfish gain, but to continue to build a nation every Filipino deserves. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education is the government agency that formulates, implements, and coordinates policies, plans, programs, and projects in areas of formal and non-formal basic education. Always remember this, in all our decisions and actions, we put the Filipino learner first. Once again, in any decisions and actions and in any programs that we will be doing in DepEd, we always put the Filipino learner first. The Department of Education continuously improves itself. Just like our students, we do not stop learning. We constantly seek to be better, both as an institution and as individuals. That is why there are so many programs in our educational system for our learners, some of which are Bigada Escuela, Abot Alam, Alternative Learning System, Gulayan sa Paaralan, Light Ed, Open High School Program, and all other special programs for science, arts, foreign language, and journalism. There are also Festival of Talents and Sports Competition so that our learners can explore their potential. But with the pandemic right now, we have to shift. There are new programs that DepEd is implementing. That is why we are really adapting to change. And these programs kept on improving. I hope one day we can go back to these kind of programs that DepEd are offering when we will go back to the face-to-face -face instruction. As what Charles Darwin has once said, and I quote, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one most adaptable to change. We constantly seek to be better, both as an institution and as individuals. This pandemic brought havoc to the lives and livelihood of billions of people worldwide. Education systems around the world are affected beyond imagination. However, if we only look at only one side of the coin, we fail to see the opportunities it brought. Such an opportunity 
is the ability of our system to be creative in developing programs to address the desire that education must happen and should continue. We will never know new islands if we will not dare sail the uncharted waters. The target is not perfection because nobody is perfect. The target is continuous improvement. Continuous improvement is a methodology that continually assesses, analyzes, and acts on the improvement of key processes focusing on the, both the customer need and the desired performance that enliven DepEd's commitment to building a culture of continuous learning and improvement. It is in this line that CI's context is integrated into the learning environment to better respond to the changing times and to mobilize the vision of shaping a culture that will have a direct and relevant impact to the learners. Continuous improvement must and should be done at this time, for there are so many lessons that this pandemic has taught us. Who has thought that we can have a webinar like this with the aid of technology. These are new to us, but we have seen it that it is really doable. And as technology becomes more powerful, therefore lifelong learning on the use of these technologies to aid teaching without replacing the teacher must be our goal. Now let's continue to better serve its stakeholders. Learners, teachers, parents, local governments, and external partners. Through time, our learners have changing needs and the Department of Education must adapt and better serve these stakeholders. <coughs> Excuse me. The real challenge for us all. First, conscious awareness of our vision our mindfulness of our dream and faith in the prayer that these will happen in the right time and the right place. Second, deep understanding and belief in the possibility. When our focus is on that goal, we should strive to transform the impossible doable. It is not positive thinking. It's making specific actions that when combined will lead to wonderful outcomes. Third, teachers as active agents of action and change towards this vision. As front liners of the educational system, as marines of war against the academic freeze, and as catalysts of change, our collective actions are essential in realizing this vision. As we make the necessary decisions and actions, we place the Filipino learner first. We must not forget that we are second in rank. Given the right tools, training for knowledge and skills, nothing is impossible for a creative Filipino teacher. For a dedicated Filipino teacher will produce a holistic Filipino learner. Therefore, continuous improvement starts with us. Kudos, teachers. Now we will move to our DepEd mission. Let's read our mission to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, and culture-based and complete basic education where students learned in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff, as stewards of the institution, ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. And family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Now let's take a closer look to our DepEd mission. To protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education. As stated in the 1987 Philippine Constitution, 
our mission states our duty as stewards of education to protect and promote the right of all citizens with or without the pandemic. How do we fulfill our mission as the Department of Education in delivering quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education? Well, the first mission is students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Question for us to reflect. Do we provide our learners with a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment? Our schools and the people with it must be promoting child-friendly activities, sensitive to gender roles, safe from hazards, and any emotional distress. And learners are excited to come to school because there are learners who are not really happy at home and the school is their refuge. This is sad, but it is a reality. This time is also challenging for learning takes place at home. Another big question is, how can we help transform the home as a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment? Have you asked, having asked that, I believe that it is really important that greater partnership and constant communication must be evident more than ever between the parents, the community leaders, the guardians, and us teachers. The second mission is for us. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Question for us to reflect, do we ensure the development of each unique learner? Having 60, 70 learners in a classroom is really tough and challenging. I always believe in the saying that you cannot give what you don't have. Therefore, when we require our learners to read, we must first read. When we, require, we, when we require them to study, our learners must be able to see that we are prepared in going to class. When we require positive behavior from them, we must show it to them. Our actions, good or bad, reverberates to our learners. Whether we like it or not, we play a huge role in their development. Yes, we are not perfect but we are learned beings. And since we take this calling to educate the young members of the society, it is our responsibility to nurture them. I know we cannot save all the students in our classroom, but at least we will do our best. The third mission is for our school leaders, administrators and staff as stewards of the institution ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. A reflection question. Do our policies, systems, processes, and behavior ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen? It is the mandate of the school leaders to find ways that the learning environment is conducive to learning. It is also their responsibility to see to it that more than the instructions given in the classroom, they will see to it that the physical requirements are available and enabling for learning to happen. Greater responsibility is given to them in this time of the pandemic for they have to ensure that our schools are safe from COVID-19. That is why our our education leaders are working hard to see to it that, that the learning continuity plan will be carefully implemented. Yes, there will be glitches along the way, for no organization is perfect. I just hope that when these policies are brought down to the system, the workforce will be given the right tools. Training is important, but teachers need tools materials and resources to apply what they learn from it in the hope that effective learning to happen. And we hope 
that safety to the teachers and all people in the Department of Education, including our learners, must be a top priority at this time of the pandemic. The final DepEd mission goes to the stakeholders. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Let me ask you this. Do we actively practice shared governance of basic education with the entire community in developing all Filipinos? As the African proverb once states, it takes a village to raise a child. And yet, even though it seems that the support of a village is so desperately needed right now, it often seems like this concept has somewhat disappeared from our individualistic society. No man is an island. Therefore, we need all the available help to make our schools nurturing. Learning does not only happen in the classroom, but learning also takes place in different locations. That is why we must teach our children to be lifelong learners, that one day they can independently learn and apply what they learn as a contribution to nation building. And you teachers and school leaders are really part of it. Now, we are done with our mission. Now we go to DepEd, to our DepEd core values. Republic Act number 8491 or the Flag and Heraldic Act of the Philippines states that our national motto shall be makadios, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. In adopting these as our four core values, what does it mean to be makadios, makatao, makakalikasan, and makabansa in the context of the Department of Education? To begin with, let's focus on Makadios. There are two behavioral statements, and with it are the indicators. So the first behavioral statement is, expresses one's spiritual beliefs while respecting the spiritual beliefs of others. The indicators are, engages oneself in worthwhile spiritual activities, respects sacred places, respects the religious beliefs of others, demonstrates curiosity and willingness to learn about other ways to show, to, other ways to express spiritual life. The second behavior statement shows adherence to ethical principles by upholding the truth. We should encourage our learners to tell the truth, returns borrowed things in good condition, demonstrates intellectual honesty, avoid plagiarism, expects honesty from others, aspires to be fair and kind to all, identifies personal biases, recognize and respects one, one's feelings and those of others. Now we move for makatao. What are the behavior statements? First, sensitive to individual, social, and cultural differences. The indicators under this are shows respect for all, waits for one's turn, take good care of borrowed things, views mistakes as learning opportunities, upholds and respects the dignity and equality of all, including those with special needs. That is why inclusive education is very important in our system. Next, volunteers to assist others in times of need. And the last, recognizes and respects people from different economic, social, and cultural backgrounds. I would like to stress on this indicator. All work, all job, 
may not be equal, but they are equally important in our society. May it not be equal in terms of salary, in terms of position, but as dignified people who are working hard, everyone is a contributor for nation building. Let's uplift all of us. Next, we move to demonstrates contributions towards solidarity. This is very important behavior statement in under makatao. So what are the indicators? Cooperates during activities. I hope our learners are doing it. Recognizes and accepts the contribution of others toward a goal. Third, considers diverse views, communicates respectfully, accepts defeats and celebrates other success. Sixth, enables others to succeed. And the last but not the least, speaks out against and prevents bullying. Now we move to the next core values, makakalikasan. What is the behavioral statement under this? Cares for the environment and utilizes resources wisely, judiciously, and economically. What are the indicators? Shows a caring attitude toward the environment. Practice waste management. Conserves energy and resources. Takes care of, of school materials facilities, and equipment. Keeps work area in order during and after work. And the last but not the least, keeps one work neat and orderly. We have to instill these core values to our learners, the makakalikasan, because we only have one earth. We only have one living earth. And if our living earth will collapse, then where will we go? Mars? is still under exploration. And if we go to Mars, it's very expensive and no one can afford that. Okay, so I hope that we must consider the makakalikasan as an essential core values for all of us to learn. Now we move to makabansa. What are the behavior statements under makabansa? demonstrates pride in being a Filipino, exercises the rights and responsibilities of a Filipino citizen. Are you proud to be a Filipino? Well, what are the indicators? First, you identify oneself as a Filipino no matter where you go. I am a Filipino, ang balat ko ay kayumanggi, and I am proud of it. You respect the flag and the Philippine national anthem. Our learners promotes the appreciation and enhancement of Filipino languages. Abides by the rules of the school, community, and country. Enables others to develop interest and pride in being a Filipino. I hope that when we go outside of the country, we will always be proud that we are from the Philippines and we love our country, the Philippines. The last behavior statements under Makabansa demonstrates appropriate behavior in carrying out activities in the school, community, and country. What are the indicators that we teachers, school administrators, and learners must learn? First, manages time and personal resources efficiently and effectively. Second, perseveres to achieve goals despite difficult circumstances. And third, conducts oneself appropriately in various situations. Our national motto is arranged hierarchically, believing in God, believing in one's potential while respecting one another stewards of nature, and lastly, promoting nationalism for us Filipinos. Very ideal may it seem, but we can do our best to learn these values one day at a time. When we manifest and model it to our learners, for sure, 
they will get it from us. They will learn it from us because values, more than teaching it, it is best taught when we model it to the young ones. Now we move to the depth ed mandate. Join me in reading the mandate of the Department of Education. The Department of Education, DepEd, formulates, implements, and coordinates policies, plans, programs, and projects in the areas of formal and non-formal basic education. It supervises all elementary and secondary education institutions, including alternative learning systems, both public and private and provides for the establishment and maintenance of a complete, adequate, integrated system of basic education relevant to the goals of national development. For the policy thrusts and strategic directions, what are our directions? To address the wide gaps in performance while navigating within existing constraints, and in keeping with our constitutional and international commitments of providing quality basic education to all Filipinos, DepEd shall continue, shall continue pursuing these policies, thrusts, and directions. Therefore, there are targeted outcomes, and these are long-term results in the hope to make an impact on every Filipino learner and in our country Philippines. So what are the outcomes? Outcome 8.1. Every Filipino has access to complete basic education. Po provide necessary basic education inputs, policy, and tool across key stages. Provide affirmative actions to learners with special needs and or learners in special circumstances. Engage the private sector in broadening opportunities for basic education. That is why partnership between private and public institutions are very important. Utilize technology in expanding the reach of basic education services. C, it's already an outcome of our Department of Education the utilization of technology in teaching. It may be accelerated by the current pandemic, but we are really going there. As what I have said, our technology is becoming powerful. It is changing every day and we have to keep up because if we will not keep up, we will lose in the competition and we will become obsolete. Outcome 8.2. Every Filipino graduate of Philippine basic education is prepared for future education and the world of work. What are the key statements under these? Ensure that a learner-centered curriculum is implemented. Provide relevant instructional materials and equipment. Improve the quality of instruction and professional development of teachers. That is why to the deaf ed people, especially those who are holding the key positions, I have to tell this, that the teachers need tools. We need equipments. We need the resources. And I hope that these resources are available by the coming August 24. And we will be willing to work hard so that education can continue and should happen as we are given with these kind of tools before the opening of class. Outcome B, delivery of basic education services to learners is effective, efficient, and collaborative. Improve internal systems and processes. Strengthen education leadership and management. And build people's capacities. Expand the network and participation of stakeholders and strengthen. All of these things are very important in our mandate as the Department of Education in realizing our activities 
in our department. With our collective effort, I hope that these outcomes will be realized. As I end my presentation, I would like to leave you this quote from Brad Johnson. It states, relationships before rigor, grace before grades, patience before programs, love before lessons. We all know how tough this time in our educational system. The learning curve is too wide to handle. Sudden educational shift affects not only our mental and emotional state, but also our fin financial life because we have to have the tools and the internet connection no matter how costly it is because we need to be with and in it. Webinars left and right and the struggle to differentiate between work from home and being at home and the information overload of the new ways of how to teach and what to teach bombard us daily. With all of these, our resilience as a teacher and as a human being shines the brightest because we are needed by our learners. The struggle is real, to be honest, but there is nothing more rewarding than to sacrifice our comfort for the future of our children for our Filipino learners. By God's grace, we will pass these trials. Better teachers, better, better school officials, and better learners than ever. But never forget to take care of yourself. Self-care is love. Finally, as we embrace the DepEd vision, mission, and core values, and taking by heart and mind the DepEd mandate, we commit to serve the Filipino learners and our country, the Philippines. For the challenges are great, the expectations are high, let us match these with our commitment to work hard, work well, and work together for the Department of Education in this new normal because we put the Filipino learners first. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon once again. At dito po nagtatapos ang ating unang araw ng training. Naway na gusto po namin kayo ng mga kaalaman na tiyak na magagamit natin sa darating na pasukan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga panauhin para sa araw na ito. Pagkatapos po nito ay ipa-flash po sa inyong mga screen ang link para sa evaluasyon ng ating training para sa araw na ito. Mulit muli po, maraming maraming salamat. To God be the glory.